Yo, what is up guys, Ultra Balls back with another uh, SPL game. This is a week 4 ORAS game between CBB and Updated Kanto. Uh, this was um, one game that I was really looking forward to because I think they both have uh, had really good records going into this one. I think CBB is like 3-0 and uh, and Kanto is either 3-0 and or 2 I think he's 2-1 and though, but um, I might be wrong. So if I am, I'm sorry, but pretty sure, yeah, but they both have winning records. They've both been playing well, so it should be a fun game. Uh, we sh th I'm assuming that with Clef and uh, Hippo, we'll probably see an exchange of rocks here, unless this Clef doesn't have rocks. Um, but yeah, it is rocks. Because I said it could also be rocks on uh, Gliscor, but I'm assuming that the Ferrothorn has spikes on Kanto's side. CBB's got the nice uh, Pursuit plus Caldeo, so, you know, nice and broken strats. Uh, wins most every game. Unless, uh, if Kanto's Jellicent is um, Cobra Berry, which most of them are, um, then that's actually really problematic for CBB. So yeah, it's it's not leftovers, so I'm like 99% sure it's going to be Cobra. He could probably what, a taunt, okay, I was going to say taunt or wisp was probably fine. Taunt so you don't get toxic is probably better um, in case he had that. Even though he probably wasn't going to stay in on his skull, that's, you don't you can't let that get toxic. That's too important. Uh, we see Kanto uh, go into the Gliscor on the Amoongus. Um, because he could get his orb activated because the Amor Amoongus was taunted, so it couldn't spore. So nice play there, getting his poison heal off, or his toxic orb off, I should say. And CBB goes into the Scizor. Uh, I'm interested what kind of uh, the score this will be, because it's Rock's Clefable. So this is probably like a... Well, I would say stall breaking set, but stall's not really a thing in Oras anymore. But it could be, you know, like an SD sort of Gliscor. Because, uh, obviously in this gen, it doesn't get defog with Poison Heal. So it's probably, yeah, I don't know, SD would be my guess. Um, yeah, I don't know what else you would run on it. So it is SD. Oh, we see maybe U-turn. Oh, SD on the Scizor's part. I'm pretty sure that this Gliscor beats, yeah, that does a lot. It beats the Scizor, Scizor 1v1. So CBB U-turns out into Keldeo. Yeah, into Keldeo. Uh, now, Kanto's pretty free to go Jellicent here, especially if he's Cobra. He doesn't have to fear the double into Weavile. Um, so I think Kanto will probably go into Jelly. Um, and I don't know if CBB has a good play into that. He could maybe go Zap. Uh, as he goes Clefable on Secret Sword. Uh, Alright, so I guess Secret Sword... Yeah, Secret Sword predicting maybe the, t the, the Pharaoh to come out, knowing that he wouldn't want to... Um, I don't know though, like, I feel like Kanto, I feel like double from CBB was better there, because if you're going to predict something, like, unless you're clicking, if you're not going to click water move on the Gliscor in front of you, I feel like doubling out was just better in general, but yeah. Alright, so we see Whirlwind come out, and Clef comes back in, getting some lefties back, uh, we go back into Ferrothorn, we should just Whirlwind again, yep, and uh, um, the Hippo's getting itself healthy here with leftovers too, so this is fine. He keeps getting the Clef in. I assume here we see Earthquake, and now we'll probably see um, a slack off from CBB's Hippo. Uh, yeah, as, he, as Kanto just Moon Blast. But yeah, now, um, I don't know, this is like a slower paced game. I feel like they're going to have some trouble breaking each other's teams, but at least uh, for, for Kanto, he got the Scizor low, which is nice. Um... Yeah, and right now the Clef and the, the, Clef and the Hippo are just kind of staring at each other because they can't do much. Uh, so Kanto gets into Titar. He's probably not going to want to stay in here. So he goes back yeah, back into Clefable as CBB's fine just staying in here clicking Whirlwind. He has he doesn't lose anything. So I think eventually he has to get in the Jellicent or something um, to force this out because I don't think... Yeah, like Lope on, he's not forcing this out. So yeah, we just keep seeing the whirlwinds. Titar comes back out. Um, it looks like they're ahead of us in the chat, or like a couple turns behind. They must be playing really fast. It, this is nice. You don't see any timer going down. So he goes into Pharaoh. All right, so now finally he gets Pharaoh in, and we'll probably be able to force out the Hippowdon. All right, knockoffs are important because uh, this thing could just sit around whirlwinding like four members of the team and not care about anything. Uh, now you see Leech or something. Spikes come up. Uh, the Zapdos could defog. I definitely defog so hard. Yeah, hard tar is always the play because CBB kind of has to get the spike off. And now I guess Kanto could Pursuit um, or Stone Edge. It's kind of a 50-50 here. And he wins the 50-50 but does not win the turn because Stone Edge is a good move. <laughs> and that's Scarf Tar. So, uh, yeah, good to know. That's Scarf Tar. But obviously that still would have obviously killed Zapdos, so that sucks. 
and um, so now we go Clef on the Weavile, probably soft boiled up, and CBB goes Keldeo, but he's got to switch out here. I don't know what he, exactly what he's expecting. Um, yeah, so we see uh, rocks go back up, and I feel like it's going to be hard for CBB to keep hazards off the field just because the Zapdos, whenever it comes in, pretty much gives a free switch into Tar. So uh, nice miss Wisp. Uh, that's unfortunate too. CBB CBB is getting a little lucky, although like the the Stone Edge miss on Zapdos was really important, but uh, now double Wisp. And say the Wisps aren't as important, but there's still the chip damage would be really nice, especially in Oras where it's 12% per turn. But yeah, as long as Kanto could like, oh my God, are you kidding me? This is so lame. And now he could just. Now, yeah, so he could defog and then go into Hippo because he knows that this is locked into Scarf. And he's already PP stalled 6 out of the 8 Stone Edges because he keeps dodging. So, yeah. I, I still don't think Kanto's in a bad spot, though, even though that he's been, like, hacked pretty bad. What in the world is going on? <laughs> this is so bad. Does he... Okay, he edges again. That's a really nice play, edging again. Um, obviously, uh, CBB was trying to get the... CBB is trying to get the uh, Zapdos healthy on like a switch into um, to Pharaoh or Clef, most likely Clef. But okay, so now Kanto could probably like this. Actually, could be a th this this could be a threat for sure. And I actually think that this um, this Tyranitar is out of Stone Edges now because it's Stone Edged four times on Zapdos, and yeah, so that's already all eight um, Stone Edges being pressured salt. So this thing is. Um, out of PP, so it's going to have to struggle. So it's pretty much forced out. So CBB could get the Scizor healthy. Um, I guess Kanto will probably just go into Jellicent, would be my guess. Uh, I think that's his best play. Uh, CBB could also U turn on the Jelly. He just roosts. Uh, I think U turn on Jelly would be cool, or U turn on the Jellicent would be cool because you could potentially still knock it out with this. Yeah. See, but now the problem is you won't be able to knock it out with knockoff because it's probably going to be Cobra. If you would have U-turned on, like, the turn that he uh, roosted, that CBB roosted, if he would have U-turned there on the Jellicent, he would have had the opportunity to maybe trap this, um, even through Cobra. Uh, or at least it would have been a 50-50 between Pursuit and Knock. But now I'm pretty sure that this could just stay in and Wisp because it's Cobra. And I think maybe CBB was just hoping it wasn't at this point. But, yeah, see, that's, that's the thing. I think, yeah... It's a hard play to make because your scissor is low, but I feel like you turning on the jelly was his best chance to win this game. Because then if you get rid of the Jellicent, then Keldeo literally just destroys everything. Um, that didn't do shit. That was a crit. That did nothing. So he could just stay in here and like maybe throw off a Wisp here. I would just throw off a Wisp and then um, recover again. But okay, this is fine. Uh, I guess, yeah, you, you don't want to risk another crit, but... Um, Pharaoh comes out, probably going to lay up a spike. Now that the Zapdos is gone, the spikes are going to be here to stay. And uh, Scizor comes back out, so you probably just go back into Jellicent. Yep. Man, this Jellicent's putting in so much work. This is a great bring by Kanto. Um, that didn't do shit. 28. You can recover off all that damage here. Um, and now, like, I don't, like, I still don't think you should just stay in here and take Gigas for no reason. So, yeah, he's he's switching out now. Um, and this uh, Gliscor could SD and put in um, a lot of trouble or this could be a lot of trouble for CBB I think um, yeah SD because what are you gonna go for Giga like it's not okay oh, crits again but um it's not really do if he doesn't crit it's only doing like 10% per turn so it doesn't really matter and now he could um, just throw off like an earthquake I think he roosts yeah that's a, I mean that's fine too but now he's forced back out to Jellicent but yeah, I don't think CBB could break the Jellicent, to be honest. So I think this game's going to be pretty much over. Doubles into Weavile on the Jellicent, but, or on Pharaoh. But even if, it wouldn't have even mattered, I don't think, right? Because even if, it's burned. So it could only, even if he's, like what's knockoff, burn knockoff isn't even going to do shit to, to Jellicent. Because it's, it doesn't have an item anymore. So I don't think it would have even mattered. He's forced into the Jellicent here, though, because, like, if this thing gets up enough SDs, I guess it could be scary. Especially if he's able to dodge, like, the third Wisp of the game. Um, yeah, it goes to Jellicent on SD, and now Kanto's just gonna Willow. But yeah, there's there, there's um, there's really nothing that CBB could do to break this. So, if, did he Willow? And it recovers. I, I would've Wisp there, I think, but... Because now you j I mean, it doesn't matter, because you could just recover here, right? 
No, okay, he wisps. So CBB played that really well. Um, but like I said, I still don't think Nox kills from here. I it, I would stay in and just recover. Um, if if Nox doesn't kill, which I assume, yeah, see what I mean? That didn't do shit damage. But I think CBB needed to go off a crit. Um, that was his play. And now uh, Kanto just recovers again, and the Weavile will go down. And that's literally his last like form of threatening offense, I feel like. And even the, even the Weavile wasn't that threatening. Because you see that damage that knockoff did. It didn't do shit. Uh, Kanto could go here back into, I said, into Glisk or Pharaoh. So Glisk works. SD up again. Uh, if I'm CBB, I probably go hard Keldeo. But, like, it doesn't get you anywhere. Yeah, hard Keldeo. Uh, and now Kanto SD. But, yeah, uh, back into Jellicent. And CBB loses 6-0 to Jellicent now. So, um... Yeah, I guess in this thing, in the the hippo doesn't have toxic. It's whirlwind, so it can't even do shit to the jellison anyway. Like, look at yeah, fifteen. <laughs> Dude, jellison's actually broken. It's it's done really well in SPL two um, this year. Like, I think it's won almost everything it's been brought to. I know CBB brought it twice. Um, yeah, Goatmon. I, I always thought jellison had one of the dumbest designs though for Pokemon. It looks really stupid. Uh, I don't get it. Like what? Like all that fluff, like around its chin. Like what is? Is it like a cloud? I don't know what the fuck it is. It's like a jellyfish. But do jellyfish don't have beards? I don't understand. Whatever. All right. So SD. Yep. And now earthquake's gonna pick one. Um, I mean, it doesn't. It, yeah. It, yeah. From thirty, it'll kill hippo. Yeah. I was, I forgot. I was gonna say yeah, cause the burn. So now go out to Keldeo, back into Jellicent, and um, I don't think I have to narrate these turns too much, cause it's pretty obvious. Like. What's going to happen? Um, CBB could keep making these doubles, but it doesn't matter because the Keldeo doesn't have recovery and the spikes are up. So it could only come in a, a few times, like a couple more times, and then it's dead anyway. Goes into Clefable. Um, I don't think that play needed to be made. I think you could just go into Gliscor every time, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Go Gliscor here. Uh, and now S SD up again. SD is always the play. Because if he go, if CBB goes into the Caldeo, it doesn't matter. Like I said, because it's taking the spikes damage you need, so you don't you don't even care if that happens. And that did a shit ton. Um, clear smog's gonna make this somewhat annoying, but the Gliscor still easily beats the Amoongus one v one, so it doesn't matter. Um, earthquake again, um, and now it's gonna die to the next earthquake. Yeah, earthquake's really free here for uh, for Kanto uh, because this will die to earthquake, and the Keldeo would die to earthquake, and the Scizor just I don't the Scizor is low I think right or Scizor's I don't remember no the Scizor was healthy but like this doesn't matter because this beats this one v one anyway um, like the Gliscor from this range beats the Scizor I'm pretty sure uh, Wisp on the Scizor and that pretty much seals the game uh, I think you just spam. Taunt and then spam scald. So this beats this easily 1v1. This bullet punch is going to do like 15, 17, yep. Uh, hex. And yeah, so Jellicent literally beat, I think. Yeah, Jellicent beat like four of the mons like super comfortably. Um, the only things it was worried about was Amoongus, and it even beats like Amoongus, unless it gets crit. So the only mon it actually probably loses to is Zapdos. And Zapdos let in Titar every single time. So I feel like Kanto had a really good match. Or like the, I don't want to just say it was all based on matchup because a lot of that comes down to prep. And I feel like he just prepped really well. So um, yeah, congrats to Kanto. Nice 6-0 on CBB. Um, yeah, I, I would never have get like I'm not Kanto's a good player, so I'm not surprised he won. But yeah, 6-0, I never would have expected that. But yeah, nice win. Uh, good game. Both players played well. But like I said, I think the matchup had a lot to do with it. But yeah, once again, just good prep overall. So Kanto won this, so put the wolf pack up 2-0. I said this at the end of my last video. If you want to see who wins, click on Smogon. You know, this this thing's been over for, for about a week now. So you can see the, the final score there. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.